kind of prompted you to start Coach Colville and your kind of own branded training? Yeah, so I've been training people for nearly nearly 10 years now and I guess Coach Colville, um, I think it really comes down to sort of person I am in terms of wanting to sort of create something of my own. Um, you know, I guess sort of in an entrepreneurial sort of way, create something and, and build your own business. Um, so that, that's been running for around, yeah, six years now. Um, and the main driver was to just have full autonomy and ownership in terms of what I was able to deliver with clients. Obviously, if you're working in a commercial gym, you're always constrained slightly in terms of the scope of your practice. You know, you might, the client might be paying the gym just for one hour, you know, whereas my personal practice is completely flexible so we can obviously train for a specific amount of time if that's longer if it's you know a slightly more detailed rehab case or or something along those lines um, and then obviously the spin-offs of that of more sort of in-depth consultations so yeah it stemmed from sort of wanting to pursue any sort of aspects that I wanted really mm, more freedom exactly yeah yeah freedom is always the aim and how would you say your approach is different to other trainers yeah it's a good question I think to sum up or to summarize my approach I would say I try and take a very detailed um, client-centered scientific approach so everything that I would ever do with a client I would have a very substantial, you know, science and also experience backed rationale. Um, whereas, you know, the, the fitness industry, it can really be a bit of the wild west at times. You know, there's a very low barrier to entry. So you can ultimately just do, you know, a weekend course and be, you know, technically qualified and insured to give health and fitness advice. So I think from the outset, I've spent, you know, three years doing my undergraduate degree. So my bachelor's in science in strength and conditioning science. For, so from that perspective, it obviously shows that you're, you know, willing to dedicate time to pursue sort of the, the scientific route. Um, so that would be, I guess, one aspect, um, the sort of, you know, really detailed scientific approach. And then I would also like to say that it's very holistic in nature. So a lot of my practice is based around a lot of systems thinking. So that's the sort of study of um, holistic science, basically. So I try and always ensure what I'm doing, I'm not just targeting just one aspect of, you know, health or fitness. It's how the whole program comes together. Yeah, definitely. And I would definitely say some of the sessions are very challenging. <laughs> <laughs> got to be, right? It's got to be. It doesn't challenge you, it's not going to change you. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs>